welcome to new airsoft. Um, subscribe, leave a like, um, or leave not a like, um, but leave comments, give us feedback. If you do leave a not so much like, uh, make sure you give us feedback. Constructive criticism is everything to us. Um, without having that, we don't really know what you like, what you don't like, and uh, what we can do better. Um, that's what we're all about here, informing the uh, new airsofters to airsoft. So welcome our airsofters. Um, with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump into uh, the second part of this video, but you're going to go straight into the first part. So I'm going to go chrono this and record this and, and get some shots out and we're going to range test our Demolition Ranch AR. Um, and that's what you came here for. So welcome to the video. Yeah. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, leave a like as well. Um, and make sure throughout the video you take notes and any, any comments that you want to put on anything that we do at any point in time uh, with this video, just make sure you put that below and give some feedback. Starting off, so as you might know, this is the Demolition Ranch AR-15, or in the case of it for shooting full auto, since it is an airsoft rifle, it's going to be a precision carbine. Um, it is a little bit more accurate than I would say other carbines in the airsoft world. Um, and we're actually going to go over a SPR versus carbine versus DMR video coming up. So stay tuned in for that video and we'll actually bring this rifle back out and argue whether it's an SPR, whether it's an advanced car video. I'm just going to say it's a, an advanced M4 carbine. Um, into it, there's a lot of things on it, but I'm going to quickly take some of it apart to really go down to its basic stock form. I am going to point out a couple issues and a couple perks that I really like about it and a couple things I really don't like about it. When I first saw this rifle come out, I was super excited. I'm a big Demolition Range fan, um, so immediately I was like, I have to have it. I really wanted to have it. Um, the the first things that came to mind was price. Um, like, okay, how much is going to cost? It's, it's, it's a, a, I would call it a Hollywood rifle, um, Novich's rifle, which we have coming up as well, um, is a Hollywood rifle. Um, these are Hollywood. Air you know, I'm going to make lingo uh, errors um, throughout the video, and I'm just going to call myself out. And I might say a couple things that are incorrect. Uh, on a broad spectrum, but I try to keep it all together. So moving back to the brand, it's going to be APS. I saw $425. When I saw $425 for an APS rifle, distributed by EMG, put together probably by EMG, um, arranged, and even though it is a F1 firearms rifle uh, a replica I was like I was kind of blown away I'm like 400 I was expecting I was expecting a, at least under 400 um, that's what I was expecting I was expecting around like uh, a good mid-range because demolition ranch did say he said it's not going to be a high tier rifle um, in the I, I guess you would I guess you would call it the thousand dollar mark um, which is crazy. I mean, we're talking like that's pre-upgraded stuff. So, okay, maybe it's not going to be that, but it's not going to be a beginner mark. Which beginner mark? I consider the the two hundred dollar range or or lower. That's what I consider. So it's going to be the in between mark. So it's definitely up there on the in between mark. Four hundred twenty five dollars is like it's nudging for an M four platform. It is nudging to me into the the high tier mark. It's it's right on the line. I mean they. They put it that price as high as they could put it to me without it being that next level. Um, it's, it's, it's a fine line. The best M4 carbine setup I've ever used happened to be around the $360 range. I mean, for $360, I mean, sure, what are we talking? That's $40, $20, so that's, that's $60, $65 difference. Still, $65 is a charger, another mag, a battery and maybe an optic so we're talking about if this is gonna be a intermediate kind of like a nicer beginner rifle then you gotta allow that that break for people to get batteries you know and this was designed for those that wanted to buy the real AR which this is a replica so the F1 firearms came out with a $2100 replica 
uh, which is a really expensive AR, even for a, a three-gunning upgraded platform with a, a better barrel. And it, that's a really expensive, $2,100. I'm gonna take everything off that I put on, starting with the cameras. Obviously, it doesn't come with cameras. Taking the camera off, which we're gonna do a review on this camera, it's a new camera. It's our run cam. And then we're gonna take our other run cam off with our side rail. We're taking our side rail off. And then we're gonna take our magnifier off. But first, let me pull this red dot off. Red dot's off. And we're gonna take our magnifier off. Magnifier's off. This is not the stock stock, but we're gonna go ahead and take our battery out. So here's our battery. All right, we're gonna take our suppressor off. Why it has a suppressor on it? It's not a tracer, this, is, this isn't a tracer. It's a barrel extension. Wait, a bar barrel extension? What's that all about? Oh, well, what's it about is this is the stock barrel. This is not the stock barrel. I'll explain later why I did that. Now these, uh, these protectors right here, um, I'll actually come closer to the camera. So these grips right here, are going to be my my own grips that I put on there. They're the really inexpensive grips. I absolutely love them. They're for the M-Lock rail system. And to be honest, this um, this AR is so streamlined. It's so thin. It doesn't even really need grips. It's so nice the the hold by itself. I just put it because I wanted a little bit more grippage and I want stopping points. And I love the stopping points on here. Uh, it's very very comfortable. I'm not going to take those off just for time's sake. But now I am going to take the inner barrel off because I want to do this in a stock format. And on airsoft rifles and having to add something to go ahead and make it better, not a fan, not a fan at all. Um, this is the, the love-hate part. To add to something, um, this uh, rail system and upper receiver right here, it had an extreme wobble in it. And, I, and no matter how many times I tighten these, it, the right here, I'll show you, right here is going to be um, these screws. So on the upper receiver, the rail system that you see here, it hooks up to the upper receiver. If I take this off, give me a second. APS is what I call a, um, they're an innovative company making airsoft replicas and rifles um, that originally I first kind of heard of in 2014. They most likely were out before that, but they're a really popular, um, what I call an evike company. They have a lot of their stuff off of evike, and that's usually where I see most of the stuff I'm going to get. Um, I do go to other places, but I, I have to say that the APS APS was, was not something I knew about too much until a friend of mine back in 2014, 2015 went ahead and bought himself an APS rifle. And he was super excited about it. He's like, Tony, this is the most amazing looking rifle I've ever seen. It's so nice. You gotta come shoot it. It shoots really nice. That's what he said. So I was super excited about that. I came and I, I shot it with him. To add on, um, there's a truck right across the street, so I have to come a little bit closer to talk about this. Uh, APS, in a nutshell, they, they have really good looking rifles uh, with really crappy internals. Their, their internals aren't the best out there. Uh, it's, it's the honest truth. Um, I, you could ask a lot of airsofters. They've, they've used APS rifles and they've fallen apart. Now with that being said, with that being said, they've come out with a lot of new um, rifles that actually have quality internals. I'm actually really impressed with it. But this was not one of those times where I was really impressed with a $425 rifle. Yeah, it's a replica. I get that. Um, but it shouldn't be a $425 rifle and me not get premium internals and have the issue of this. So I took off the rail system um, and now we have the upper receiver right here. And it was wobbling because right here when you take the screws out, you have this little, this this tube which acts as the barrel tube which tightens it on there so what was happening is this was having a wobble and that wobble 
All I needed to do is tighten this. And once I tightened that, problem was completely solved. So obviously I probably got a bad egg until I tightened that rail system back on. So the rail system is lined up now, but the issue was, is now I have no wobble, that's good, but when I went to tighten the screws in, right here, you can't really see with the way the camo is, but right there. So right here and right here, the way it works is when I, when I went to line them up, the screws didn't actually line up with the individual holes. So obviously they weren't gonna stay tightened in all the way. So it's just a manufacturing error that I didn't really understand at a $425 rifle why this was happening. Here is our Dean's connector. I'm about to hook up this LiPo real quick and I just wanted to say it does have Dean's and that is a plus. Um, I was really impressed by that and I'm like done right, right there. Um, and it, and it, it suggests a LiPo. So I'm just gonna go ahead and predict and assume uh, with all assumptions uh, that it has a MOSFET because they suggest a LiPo and it has Dean's and I don't see why I want to have a, a MOSFET. So it has a MOSFET according to me. Call me out if I'm completely wrong. I want to know. There's two more issues with this gun that happened and I just wanted to inform you and this is definitely an APS defect, something that I completely kind of saw coming. Um, as you might know, maybe you don't know, but there is a blowback feature on this rifle. Um, there's the F1 firearm, come on, focus, focus, focus. Logo, there you go, excuse me. <laughs> um, and then we also got the F1 firearm logo again on the charging handle um, for the pullback, the dust, the dust cover. But both of these broke off. And there's no dust cover, so I might as well just not have this on there. And since the uh, the spring broke, as well as the um, the blowback broke, malfunctioned, uh, I just went ahead and put another APS, a friend of mine, the one that had the APS rifle before, well since his broke, he gave me the gearbox um, for the APS rifle, and I just put the, the stock, the old stock, um, sheave on there and just kind of locked it in place with the screw that they have on there um, not sheave but uh, blowback mechanism whatever you want to call this the cylinder slide or the cylinder once again lingo messed up on the lingo sorry about that it is what it is it's airsoft get over it so I'm consistently 292 293 292